thank you all again. Uh, I have, and I have decided that I will grant a bail under the following conditions. A judge set bail today for Dominique Strauss-Kahn, who is the former chief of the IMF. Under the terms of the bail, Mr. Strauss-Kahn is going to have to put up a million dollars cash. He's also going to have to file a $5 million bond. And he's also agreed to be secured in an apartment that his wife rented in Manhattan. And as part of staying in that apartment, he's going to have to be under 24-hour surveillance by a security group. And not only will he have video surveillance and he'll have an ankle monitor, but there'll also be a live guard outside of his building. Seven days a week, electronically, and by at least one armed human being guard at all times. The scene out here today was a frenzy. There was hundreds of reporters from all across the country. In the courtroom, the reporters were packed shoulder to shoulder. And in fact, some of the reporters had to be put in the jury box because there was not enough room. Mr. Strauss-Kahn's wife, Anne Sinclair, and one of his daughters, Camille, who lives here in Manhattan as a Columbia student, both of them were in the courtroom today. When Mr. Strauss-Kahn walked in today, he was wearing a gray suit, he had on a navy blue shirt, and he was looking well-shaven and clean-cut, which is a very different image from what we've seen of him in past days, when he's been very haggard and tired looking. As he walked in, he saw his wife and his daughter in the front row, and he gave them a small smile. One thing we also learned today is that Mr. Strauss-Kahn was indicted. So what that means is that the case now goes to Supreme Court here in Manhattan. So that means in next month, the judge set a date for Mr. Strauss-Kahn to reappear in court, at which point he will be told of his charges and the case will continue from there. Presumably both sides will then work out their strategy and proceed toward a trial.